Good morning. Peace and blessings. How it, how's everybody doing today? We are in um, today's Mars Day, and Mars is at the 26th degree of Capricorn. Mars is currently conjunct Pluto and Venus. So the energy is really interesting. It's a real mix today because there are a couple of things that are going on that are um, that contrast one another and can create an experience of chaos and confusion. Good morning, good morning. So Mars at the 26th degree of Capricorn with Pluto, this energy is very highly destructive, highly war driven. Like So inside of yourself, you can be feeling dark energy and the moon is in the dark um, the moon is about to go into the new moon phase. And so it's at the dark time. So the energy is very fucking heavy. But the sun is like conjunct Jupiter. <laughs> and so where there is this really deep, dark energy, there are also these new possibilities that are showing up. And... And so what happens is, as humans, we tend to lean more into, um, we tend to take these energies and make them mean bad things because they feel bad, right? It's like, it's like being in labor and the pain that comes, but you're birthing something new. So you actually don't want to make it feel bad. You just want to do what you need to do to take care of yourself right now. You want to do what you need to do to nurture yourself and just be gentle with yourself right now because the energies with Mars conjunct Pluto is just a lot of heavy destruction. And so it can cause a lot of fighting and stuff. Hey, little baby. <laughs> cause a lot of fighting and a lot of, you know, internal storytelling about what's wrong and who did what and why people ain't and who she said and how come she didn't and that, all that kind of shit can be going on, right? But that's the problem. Don't do it because the sun and Pisces will start to collect drama and shit like so just don't listen to nothing okay don't listen to nothing don't listen to nothing and don't listen to nobody especially yourself don't listen to nothing and don't listen to nobody especially your own thoughts because they will fuck you up right now okay now what you do want to do is um Go into, like, Pisces is the fantasy, it's the dream, right? So what's your dream? What makes you feel good? What And nurture that. What makes you feel alive? What makes you feel... Okay, let's see. Okay, great. So what makes you feel alive? What makes you feel connected to source? Like, do things that make you feel good. That's it. Don't, you know, don't, like, let go of the story just what makes you feel good and focus your energy in that direction why because we're in the new moon energy and this energy is very very creative it's highly um sorry yeah it's just a highly creative energetic and with pisces it's it's subtle it's the stuff that you don't even realize is is impacting you it doesn't you know subtle energy is is subtle energy is the most powerful energy but most of us don't have a relationship to it because we live in this culture that is so um competitive and externally focused and subtle energy is internal like you cannot find the subtle energy from the external reality you have to be inside of yourself and most of us just don't cultivate enough internal relating with ourselves to get to the subtle places which is the subconscious and the dream world and and so this energy the subtle the su the subtle and the subconscious is really powerful so right now if you just do things that make you feel good that will help you with the subtle energy that'll help you move and not bring old stuff because what's being asked of us right now is to really let go Pisces is where endings come where things come to end and you know and so 
We're, we're being asked to let go of patterns and beliefs and all sorts of stuff and ways of being and eating and everything. It's almost like we're being asked to let go of everything that was familiar to us prior to really come into a new understanding of who we are as human beings. And, and in my experience, the easiest way to do that is to really begin to understand your own astrology. Um, and, and to be in a query in a constant query of what you believe and why you believe it. And, and if it's in alignment with who you truly are, because, um, this experience that we have been in, in this system, this American Western system has been, it's been all consuming. It's, you know, like a fish to water. Like, so we haven't, so because it's all consuming, it's challenging. It can be challenging to find your way out of it. And the only way out is inside, like into yourself. And so if you use this energy to really, you know, get clear, like what are the things you need to let go of? What are the things you are holding on to that really no longer serve you? I know for me and how I know for me what it is, is because I follow my astrology and I'm in the time of my North Node, and that is, I have the North Node in Aries. So all of the things for me that have been about other people, making other people happy, people pleasing, codependence, all that stuff is like, I'm on my last leg with it. Mm, that it is scary. Yeah, I do understand that it is scary. It is, but I want you to know that the scariness is just in your head, honestly. And that might not sound true, but ask yourself, what are you afraid of? Write those things down. What are you afraid of? Write them down. And then if you have the courage, if you have the courage, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm, you can have the courage. If you are willing to be courageous Imagine those scariest things coming into, imagine them, just feel what it would feel like and then walk away from it in your imagination. That's the power of Pisces. Just give yourself the opportunity. I know whenever I'm willing to be with the things that I'm afraid of, you know, I've had all sorts of stuff. I'm afraid of homelessness. I just imagine myself sleeping on the street and and feel it. What does it feel like? And drain the energy and the power out of it. That's how we do it. The problem is that we run from stuff. Don't run from it because it's really all just in your mind. It's really all just in your mind. So imagine that the very thing that you're most afraid of, lean into it in your own psyche, in your own consciousness. And that's what Pisces is here to help us do, to let go of the things that are the illusions, the Maya that would have us think that there's something outside of ourselves. We're creating these realities, right? So when I lean into something that feels undesirable, I'm draining the energy out of it so that I'm not holding it at bay. <laughs> when you hold what you resist persists, what you resist has to come into existence because you won't give it the energy that it desires or deserves. And so if you give it the energy, then it'll drain that energy and it will stop haunting you. Um, and so, yeah, that's just one of the things. It's just one of the opportunities for us to learn and grow into. So with Mars at the 26th degree of Capricorn, Mars is about our, Mars is our body. It's our um, assertion. It's the masculine. It's our willpower. Mars is um, Mars is how we move through life. You know, one I was reading an astrologer the other day. He said Mars is how you drive your car and the car you drive. That's a very masculine thing. But really, Mars is your body and how you how you how you move with your body. You know what I mean? Are you are you? Yeah, that's what Mars is. It's actually your physical body, and so. With Mars at conjunct Pluto, we are, and Venus is there as well, it will create a lot of emotional confusion because the things that we have relied upon others in our lives to take responsibility for, we are having to see the cost of that. Like, what does it mean when you give your authority over to someone else? When you make someone else 
God in your life, basically, when you don't trust your own instincts, when you don't trust your own healing abilities, when you don't trust your own, you know, wisdom, when you don't trust what what's the cost of that? That's what we're dealing with today. And, you know, we see we're in a world right now where most of us have been living in this way. We've been living where we are. Um, we've been living in a world where we are not self-reliant, where we are relying upon others and we do it in simple ways. And it's the culture, grocery stores. That's, you know, we don't grow our own food. And and all of those things always make you susceptible and reliant upon others, right? So um, we do it in our relationships. And, 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 and we do it because we've been conditioned this way. We've been conditioned to do it this way. And this, the system is breaking down. So now we have to start to come into understanding our own gifts and talents and then where we've been giving our power away so that we can rearrange those energetics is what I want to say. So, so that we can, because energy doesn't die, it just transmutes. And so it's like wherever we've been giving our power away, now that power comes back and you have to figure out how to do it, um, how to do it yourself, right? Or do, and here's the thing, for me, how I did that was I was like, okay, I need to go within. I need to access the divine within me because there is a part of me, a part of all of us that is connected to the source of all things that knows all things. There's a part of each and every one of us that's tapped into the consciousness of the divine. And when I, I decided that I'm going to cultivate that relationship more than I'm cultivating anything else, because that's where the wisdom comes from. That's where the prosperity comes from. That's where the health comes from. That's where the love comes from. I'm going to give my energy into what I experience as the eternal because that will give me a deep sense of safety and security in this earth realm, in this dimension. And so now, I, you know, and as I've leaned more into that relationship with source within me, my higher self, divine God, whatever you want to call it, creator, trees, nature, all of it, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you call it, but we're all tapped into it. And as I've leaned more into it, those old relationships where I was focused externally or it was based in fear or compound competition, all that shit is falling away because I'm becoming Becoming more and more true to who spirit would have me to be, who my soul brought me here to be, and all that other shit no longer matters to me any longer. I just don't even care. I just it's like oh, I, it's almost like it didn't even exist before, and I'm at peace with it, and and I feel really safe, and I'm doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing, and I feel aligned, and I'm connecting to the people that without me doing anything, if, with the exception of leaning into my relationship to source. That's it. That's it. It's the easy. Now, let me tell you, there are a lot of fucking distractions. Okay. There are a lot of things to distract who I, you know, whoever I'm laying down with their energy and whatever I, you know, my children, all that sort of stuff is distracting, but I know that it all comes from inside of me because everything comes out of my consciousness. And when we know that, then it, whatever's showing up externally, I get to go in and say, okay, how do I adjust that from the inside out, not the outside in? And my relationship with Source proves every single time how to adjust the external world. And so that's just how I did it. I decided that, okay, the world is about to go fucking crazy. I don't know how I can navigate it, but I do know that there is an intelligence that knows everything that has arranged all of this and that nothing is a secret to. So I'm going to align to that intelligence to my best ability. And there are tons of distractions, but I spend most of my time focusing on that. Most of my time is focused on that. And that has helped me be steady. I mean, I'm still up and down. I'm still, there's still challenges. There's still opportunities for growth and things that, that tip me over and distract me. But for the most part, my internal world is aligned to the divine intelligence of the universe. And the commitment to that has, is about consistency, literally. And um, and so how do I do it? You know, I follow the natural cycles. I do the rituals. I, um, I take responsibility for everything in my life. 
Um, I do my best to be as transparent as I can with myself, with myself, tell myself the truth. Um, and I do my best to be of service to others, to allow others to access the same type of energy if they so choose. Um, and you know, and I'm in a consist, I'm in a constant, a constant experience of releasing because that's kind of where we are right now in this earth plane. It's all like going to hell in a handbag. So I'm in a constant experience of releasing and asking myself what needs to go, what needs to go, what needs to go, because so much of this is completely outdated to who I'm becoming and to what the world is, um, what this reality is evolving into. So, so that's how I do it. So at any rate, um, Mars and Mars and Capricorn, Mars and Capricorn conjunct Venus and Pluto. Venus is our emotions, um, our emotional power. Mars is our body. Pluto is destruction. So many of our relationships and things are coming undone the way we've seen. All of that is under complete destruction right now. Um, with the new moon in Pisces, like I said, lean into like what feels good to you. Like make, do what you need to do to take care of yourself, nurture yourself, whatever that is. And if it can include water, that would be great because Pisces is a water sign. So if you can go to the ocean, if you can do water rituals, bathing, all that sort of stuff will really help out. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. I'm done. I will see you all again. Um, if you are local in Los Angeles, please register and come to our new moon ceremony tomorrow evening at the Casbah. It's um, the link for that is in my link tree. And um, yeah, that's it. All right. Peace and blessings, everyone. Bye bye.